Okay, so I just got this um, delivered today. This is the uh, Bader Oxygen 3 and uh, UHC IP filter for viewing. Okay, this is the uh, UHC. And the oxygen tree um, so I ordered last uh, two days ago for a UHC two inch and the uh, oxygen tree for an inch and a quarter so I'm I'm now into deep sky uh, viewing and I want to see more uh, contrast in the nebula so that's why I ordered these and they're pretty cool nice case start with the oxygen tree so the oxygen tree according to Bader they are have uh, they have the very deep contrast where you can see uh, nebulas very clearly i guess some nebulas you know including uh, they said like the eagle nebula m8 m17 you know it, it it really depends on how how you want to look at it pretty light and I don't see any scratches which is good and um, I know this produced a little bit more greenish let's see yeah there and for the UHCS filter so basically why I ordered the 2 inch for the UHC because I usually use a lot of times my 23 millimeter eyepiece and in my area there's a lot of light pollution and this filter would be a great great help reducing those light pollutions and of course it would also give me good contrast uh, diffusing the nebulas. Um, it really depends on your preference which which uh, which filters you can use but I mean for deep sky um, you need to have this uh, UHC and uh, the oxygen tree so yeah here's the uh, name and that's the part number let's check on looks like it's got uh, doesn't have any scratches and let me demonstrate how does it look like here Okay. So there you have it. I really can't wait to have uh, this tested tonight. Hopefully I got clear skies. I'm pretty happy with the uh, Bader filters. Um, there might, there are others uh, uh, which cost, you know, more but uh, cost-wise, uh, this is this is this is you know uh, affordable, and the quality is also nice. And um, some folks likes it. And uh, I did made a lot of research before I really buy uh, the filters. So I'll try this and 
let's see how it goes. Thank you for watching.